What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Christian Barmore, uh, defensive lineman out of Alabama. Um, so, he's 6'5", 310 pounds, at least as of reported right now. Of course, Combine will clear a lot of that stuff up. Um, I've seen him get a lot of hype, so I wanted to check him out. Uh, I don't really understand why he's being as hyped as he is, but the, the hype in this draft is weird already. I, I might talk about that in a separate video um i think the wrong people are being hyped up i do like this guy but people were talking him about him like he's a little better than he is um he's but i'll, I'll get into the things i do like about him he does have quick hands um I, I noticed that right away um and he does have some violence and ball get off for sure um I wouldn't necessarily saw, say that he's very fast, necessarily, but he does have good ball get-off, uh, and his hands are quick. Um, he definitely seems to have enough power as well. I wouldn't necessarily call him like a Quinn and Williams, like super powerful guy, but I think he definitely has enough power to get the job done. Um, I did notice that Alabama doesn't play him a lot. Like... Um, he kind of rotates in and out quite a bit, and he misses a lot of snaps, and that's kind of worrying to me. I'm worried about his stamina um, going into the league because he's not used to taking a full game of snaps. Um, and overall, I think he does have a quite a while to go as far as development goes. Um, I, to me, he seems to be a two-gapper. I think a 3-4 scheme would fit him the best in the NFL. I think that um, he seems to be putting the pieces together to be able to two gaps, to be able to uh, play as a decent 3-4 outside linebacker, but I think that some of his technique needs to become a little bit more consistent because he shows flashes of knowing where to put his hands, knowing how to get off blocks, knowing how to swipe hands down, knowing where to have where to have your eyes, stuff like that. He shows flashes of knowing how to do it. He definitely does, but it's just not consistent. So I think continuing to work on it would be great. Uh, if you draft him, I think he can come in and be an okay player from for you right away. Um, I don't think he's going to be great right away, but I think he can be okay, and I think he'll show flashes like he has already. Um, but if you continue to work on him, uh, let him get even stronger than he is now, uh, let him work on getting his hands more consistent, stuff like that. I do think he can be a good player, but the only reason I mentioned people overhyping him is because people are talking about him in the same vein as, like, a Quinn and Williams that you could, like, take, you know, top ten. Uh, like, I've heard people say that. Um, it's not just him. There's a lot of people getting overhyped. Like, uh, Jalen Twyman, the defensive lineman out of Pittsburgh, people are literally calling him Aaron Donald. Like, I don't know. <laughs> people are weird. Um... And I think setting those types of expectations on a player that doesn't deserve it, you're just setting them up to fail. Um, but if you know what you're getting with Christian Barmore, then you can set your expectations where they should be, and you won't be disappointed, and you'll have a pretty solid player, I think. Um, and he can develop into being a great player. I do think that. It, it's just going to take some work. Um because I do definitely think technique-wise he has a little bit of room to grow for sure. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.